All this work that we're doing, brothers, for this ministry, eventually is going to pay off. You better believe it, man. It's going to pay off like you'll never believe. Okay? And by the way, we're the highest value male on this planet. The men of the Lord. The men of this truth. The hopeful elect of Yahweh Barshim Shai. The highest value male there is. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shah Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers. And peace and blessing and salutation to the hopeful that got the pushing his word in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful that the believers, the listeners whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. All right. And what I want to get into. Okay, this morning, you know, it's dealing with, all right, what we're witnessing in the earth, you know, is a complete and utter destruction, okay, of everything that's righteous, all right, under the rulership of Esau, Edom, okay, the earth, you know, is completely, all right, in rebellion against righteousness, man, okay, and this is a result, okay, of the wicked being in, ru in rulership. All right. And what we're seeing is things being turned completely upside down. You know, we're seeing lewdness. OK. And violence at an all time high. OK. And things are, are, are just getting worse. You know, you can look at the music that's accepted in this society. Engage. You know how bad it's getting. OK. You you follow music. And so you go back, you know, to the, to, to the uh, you know, the days of Motown. Okay, well, there was always wickedness, you know, mingled in the music, okay, and and, and, and and what's happening, you know, we have seen, you know, wickedness just evolve, all right, into what we see today, okay, and people have devolved, all right, into beasts, you know, people have devolved into beasts under the rulership of Esau, Edom, and we're just witnessing the complete and utter destruction, okay, of, of, of righteousness in the earth and that's why the righteous king all right Yahweh Shai, okay is coming back all right to conquer the earth and what in righteousness man all right matter of fact let's get that man you know what is Yahweh Shai coming to do you know let's just get that man and then we'll get into it revelation 19 you know it's good to set the tone okay with Yahweh Shai. It's Revelation 19 and 11. It says, And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. All right. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. All right. And heaven opening up. All right. The Shemayim, the atmosphere. And see how Shah coming into this realm. All right. And that white horse represents the chariot of pure power. Okay. The, 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 the chariot that Yahweh Shah will be on. Okay. To come and execute judgment. That's going to be the throne of judgment. That chariot. Okay, that's going to be doing a great slaughter in the earth. Okay, and he's going to deal with these militaries of the heathens. Okay, as he as he does what? It says, and he that set upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness, he does judge and make war. Okay, in righteousness, Yahweh Shai does judge and make war in righteousness, man. Because this earth is being ran in complete and utter wickedness, man. Okay. So Yahweh Shai is coming to conquer the earth in righteousness, man. Let's get that in Revelation 6 and 2. And it says, And I saw and behold a white horse. You see that? The same thing. And also John the Revelator is seeing, you know, various visions of Yahweh Shai conquering, all right, and waging war on these heathen nations beginning with Esau Edom. Okay, it says, And I saw and beheld, behold a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering, all right, and to conquer. Okay? So this is what Yahweh Shai is coming to do, is to conquer the earth in complete righteousness, man, because he saw Edom, you know, has turned the world, you know, into complete and utter chaos, dysfunction, lewdness, and violence. All right? We're living, okay, in a, a pre-flood era. Okay, the same atmosphere that was going on before the flood. Okay, 
we're living in that era now. All right. And the scriptures, you know, tell us that these things will happen. The days of Noah. All right. How told us that the days of Noah. OK, well, uh, the, the circumstances on earth will be as the days of Noah before his second coming. All right. So as we speak about how was coming to conquer? Well, the earth had to be in the condition. All right. In the day, just as the days of Noah, man, of the lewdness, okay, the wickedness, the violence, all right, and we're seeing these things, man, all right. Now, what I want to emphasize on, okay, is the disorder in marriage, you know, because, um, you know, as we speak about, you know, the, the lewdness and the wickedness and the violence, well, a lot of these things, these things stem from disorder in marriage. All right, marriages, okay, are the core of civilization. You know, order in marriage, all right, is very critical, okay, for a, a peaceful atmosphere in the earth. Okay, and when you disrupt the order of marriage, all right, things become dysfunctional, chaotic, okay, and, and it has a ripple effect of what we see today, you know, and that's why... You know, I always speak about these things, you know, because, you know, I I, I, I love the concept. I love the wisdom and the dynamic that Yahweh Bashim al Shai, you know, how he created, you know, a order, you know, within marriage, within family. You know, I, I just love that dynamic, you know, and, 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 and uh, you know, I, I get extremely offended about how this devil, you know, has just completely destroyed that dynamic in the earth. You know, men aren't appreciated, you know, marriages, you know, no one, you know, uh, has any, you know, there's no honor, you know, when it comes to marriage, you know, marriage has, you know, been turned into a business, you know, divorce, you know, is, is a business. Okay, it's, it's, it's just complete dysfunction, man, you know, and then you get offended just like, you know, a lot, you know, a lot was seeing these things, man, and you seeing the, the adultery rampant, you know, no one has respect for you know, a, a man's wife, okay, the wife doesn't have respect for her husband, the, the children don't have respect for the father, you know, it, it's just a complete madhouse, man, okay, and disorder in marriage has led to what we see today, the, the culture that we that, that exists today, okay, so I want to play this, all right, brotherhead did this, man, I just want to play this and just look at the other madness, okay, so this is Eve, you know, with two husbands, okay, which is complete madness, man. This is what we're seeing a lot of in these latter times is disorder, okay, and marriage being pushed. You know, the whole thing we see with Will and Jada, okay, the whole red table. You know, all this is, 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 is these, because see, these actors and celebrities, all right, they not just, you know, um, uh, working for the elites, you know, when, they doing movies okay nah man they their lives are given to these elites man so whatever the elites need them to do okay <laughs> they 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 do it all right and this is why you see you know the the Dwayne way no no they have to do that okay the Wayne way whether he likes it or not he have to run with this narrative of letting his son you know destroy himself okay uh, uh Gabriel you know, union pretty much being, you know, the head of house. Okay. They, they, that's, that's all, you know, designed and, and pushed. Okay. I say Will and Jada, you know, the red table and, you know, all the, you know, it, it's all being pushed. And then you see their children, what they're into, you know, um, Jaden and, and Willow. Okay. What they're into, that's being pushed. Okay. <laughs> you see. These things are being pushing. This is what Esau wants to make a normal. Esau doesn't want any remnant of righteousness within his new world order. Okay? And that's why it's going to get to the point where standard is going to have to be lifted, you know, for those, the, the, you know, the, the house of David that has been risen that's fighting for righteous adventure is going to have to be a standard living, man. A standard lifted against this devil, man. Okay? So I want to play this and just look at, listen to this madness, man. Okay. Just make sure you're ready for that for yourself. Mm -hmm. You're ready to bring another life into this world and be responsible for something more than 
just yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And how, how do you feel right now, like, me being pregnant? <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> now, as you can tell, okay, now this is supposed to be both of her husbands. All right, complete madness. <laughs> okay. Now, she's asking the other guy how he feel about her being pregnant. Okay. I guess by the guy to her, by, by the guy on her right. But, um, you know, that, that, that delay in reaction, he feels some type of way. All right. As a man, there's no way <laughs> you don't feel no type of way. But this, this is just madness, man. Okay. And then how does he know that, that who, how does she know who's, who, who's the father of the child? If she's dealing with both of those men at the same time, how can there be a guarantee that he's a father? Okay. Just complete madness, man. But you see the body language. Both of these guys are uncomfortable as hell. And, you know, and wait till you hear the guy, the light-skinned guy get to talking. All right. He's offended, you know, at certain things. But this is this is madness, man. Okay. This is complete madness, man. Okay. And you have Eve, her, her round head ass, all right, in the middle, you know. And, and, and she's in paradise, man. But this is what the serpent brought to Eve, man. Okay. Why, why does Adam... Get to have this and that. Why you can't be, you know, this is what the serpent brought to Eve, man. And this is uh, the culture that we live in and the ripple effect, all right, of disordering marriages, man. Okay. Uh, same as they both said, um, as long as I don't have to take on that responsibility, then it's, it feels good to sit back and not have to go through the same things that I went through. So I kind of enjoy just sitting back and watching. It's like, okay, you know, I'm here. If you need some help, you know, if it's something that y'all can't do, I'm here to help out. Uh, other than that, um, that's pretty much it. I know a lot of people are like, you know, both of y'all are the daddy. Like, both of y'all are... Yeah, I always correct when they say that because, um, especially being that this is my first, mm -hmm. don't attribute what I view as an accomplishment in my life. To somebody else it's, it's not his kid so it, it kind of annoys me and kind of gets under my skin a bit when people say that because i know they think they're saying something positive and cool like oh baby got two fathers blah 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 it's like no you're kind of taking something away from me at this time like, mm -hmm. this is my kid let me be happy uh if you're going to congratulate do you think that they're like us. referring to Keith, well, black. <laughs> we're, to, we're like referring to black as the father figure, so it just it's just one clump of. No, they assumptions. are saying it because they think that because we're all poly and we're in a relationship, that that somehow makes it his responsibility. Also, that's why they're saying it, mm -hmm. and it doesn't. It's, it's not his responsibility. Now, I, I'm not saying that everybody's dynamic is that way because there are people who will be like, "Well, this is collectively all our child," and they're all going to collectively pitch in and do everything. And that's not to say that I don't do my share or help out with the two boys. Obviously, I do. Um, but at the end of the day, they still know who their dad is. They they know who to come to for most things. Not that they can't come to me because anytime they do, I never just be like, "No, leave me alone. Go to your father."
two dads, you know, it, I started to realize, no, I don't like that. Because can no other man or person, man, woman, doesn't matter, you know, outside of us, and even when it comes to us, can say that they put in the work that I've put in for our two boys. Mm-hmm. You know, so to have that title based off of that work that's been put in that sacrifice, that time, you know, nobody can replace that nor match up to that. Mm-hmm. You know, so if they was to be like, oh, if we had this... I- All right. Madness, man. Complete madness. Okay? Confusion. Uh, you know, it, and this is the norm. You know, they just, you know, agree. You know, but this is the norm, you know, um, amongst our people. Okay? Where the, where the woman, you know, has multiple baby fathers. And it's awkward as hell. You know, you can't, we can't just sit and <laughs> act like that shit ain't awkward. Okay? Here it is. You, you, you. Because, you know, the norm, like, um, uh, let's say you, you're dealing with a woman, okay, and she's, um, uh, has a baby father, you know, um, before, before y'all get together, you know, y'all got y'all situation, you know, and you say you have a son by, or a, a, a seed by, or whatever, you know, you over there, okay, y'all living, you know, but the baby daddy has all this, another man has all this access to your wife. Okay? Where well, they got a call, they got a co parent. You know, you, 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 you watching the game, he pull up, walk through, and he talking to your wife, and, you know, uh, he come get his son. Okay? He come get his children. And, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a, it's an awkward ass dynamic, man. It's backwards. Okay? And it is what it is, man. I know, you know, brothers and sisters got their situation with y'all. Got our situation, all right? But we can't ignore the elephant in the room that that's awkward as hell, man. Okay? There's an awkward ass dynamic because it's backwards. Okay? And this is the norm under Esau Edom. Okay? This is uh, Isaiah 29. All right? You know, and you, and you, and you do what you got to do. You know, you brothers and sisters in these different situations. You know, so we all in our circumstances, you know, is, is some form of dysfunction, you know, to our dynamic. All right. And we do the best we do, you know, do, do the best you can do in the situation, you know. But at the end of the day, all right, we, we understand that, okay, this is why we need to reset. Okay. Now, this is Isaiah 29 and 16. It says, Surely your turning of things upside down should be esteemed as the potter's clay. <laughs> For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not. Or shall the thing frame say of him that framed it, he have no understanding. Okay, and this is Esau Edom. You know, <laughs> this is this this is the embodiment of his rulership. All right, he's turned everything completely upside down. All right, and we're living in a, in a backwards ass society, man. Okay, a completely twisted and perverted ass society, man. Okay, to where everything is accepted but righteousness, man. Okay, here it is. You know, Nick Cannon is demonized, you know, for having, you know, multiple uh, um, children by multiple women. You know, and he has the means to take care of them. All right, but the hell with that nigga. All right, we know he, <laughs> you know, but just dealing with that. All right, um, then, you know, just the, the, the concept you know, of uh, an Israelite man having multiple women and multiple children, you know, with demonized and looked down upon, people's in the uproar, you know, you know, there was, there was a lot of, you know, negative backlash he received from that, okay? But then things like this are applauded, okay? What, 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 what Dwayne Wade and, 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 and Gabriel Union are doing are applauded. What, what Jada and Will are doing, these things are applauded. Okay, complete madness, man. All right, this is a, a, a truly upside down, backwards ass society, man. All right, and that's why the Yahweh Shai is coming to wage war against this place, man, and set up order. <laughs> okay, everything was established in the beginning. Okay, you go here. All right, everything was established in the beginning. Okay, let's go to Genesis. All right. 
Genesis 2 and 18. All right, it says, And the Lord power said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him and help me for him. Okay, I will make him and help me for him. All right. Now, you go here. Let's go to this word. Um, all right, make. All right. So you go to his word in the Hebrew, it's uh, Asha, all right, which means to do, to fashion, okay? Because a woman was made for a particular purpose, and there was to be a help, okay? She was fashioned in a particular purpose, in a particular order to be a help, okay? An assistant, okay? You go to the Hebrew word for help, which is Azar, okay? And it says what? To help, to secure. Okay? To succor, I mean. Alright? To be a to be a help, to be an aid. Okay? That's the dynamic, you know, that the woman, alright, that the Lord set up for the woman. Alright, is to be an aid to her husband. Alright? And th there's no way <laughs> because scripts say you can serve two masters, man. <laughs> okay. So um yeah. <clears throat> we go from there. Let's get Exodus 21. Alright, because the Lord established, you know, these orders. Alright, Exodus 21 and 10 it says, um, it's Exodus 21 and 10, it says, if he Take him another wife, her food, her raiment, and her duty of marriage shall not diminish. Okay? If a man who has married a slave wife takes another wife for himself, he must not neglect the rights of the first wife, all right, to food, clothing, and sexual uh, intimacy. So the Lord established the order within marriage. Okay? It never talked about a woman taking on another husband all right let's complete disorder okay well the lord does speak about if a man did because as a man increased in substance you know as a man increased in his possessions all right hey, he would need some more help see marriage came with duties responsibilities man okay and what esau does he removes you know he he, he diminished you know that's why um, it's hard to define in this society what a woman is. Okay? Because the, the, the woman, all right, biblically had duties and responsibilities, man. You know, of course, you know, her, um, uh, her biology, you know, her sexual organs, you know, and, 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 and the ability to bear children, you know, is at the, um, the, the, the forefront. Okay? But also the duties you know, and the responsibilities of a woman, okay, make her make her a woman as well, okay, and Esau just reduced everything to just pleasure, you know, just everyone just getting their rocks off, man, <laughs> okay, but the Lord, all these things come from, and all these things stem from idolatry, Okay, now this is um, the Book of Wisdom of Solomon in the GNT, the Good News Translation. Okay, I want to start at um, this Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 12. All right, and one thing about it, like I say, in the 60s, you know, because that's when, you know, the, 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 the seed, you know, of disorder in marriage, all right, really was planted, you know, through feminism, all right, during the feminist movement. And... This is when we see, okay, sexual liberation. And this is where you get, you know, the culture of lewdness that we see today. Okay? This is um, Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 12. It says, sexual immorality began when idols were invented. They have corrupted human life ever since they was first made. See, this is why, 
you know, because people take marriage so lightly and you speak on these things, people don't connect, you know, disordered marriage with the condition of the earth. Okay, but the Bible tells us, look, sexual immor immorality began when idols were invented because they will have orgies and, you know, wife swaps. You know, here it is. You, you take, you, you know, these, these heathens, they would take their wives to these certain temples and, you know, it's a big orgy. Another man popping your woman. Okay, your woman, she's dealing with another woman. You know, this is madness. Okay. These were cultures of the heathen, mainly these these Canaanites, man. Because Esau, he, you know, that's why you got um, Alistair Crawley, okay, that do as thou wilt, all right? But he he, he, he got a lot of his uh, philosophy when he visited Egypt, man. You know, going into those ancient customs of these Canaanites, man, which was a very lewd people, man. Okay? And it says... Um, idols have not always existed, nor, verse 13, idols have not always existed, nor will they exist forever. It was human pride that brought them into the world, and that is why a quick end has been planned for them. And how is that end going to come? Through your house shot. Okay? Now, you go into, it's going to go into the details of the culture, okay, that comes with idolatry. All right. This is um verse 22. Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 22. It says one thing led to another. It was not enough to be wrong about the knowledge of the Most High. They lived in the state of evil warfare, but they were so ignorant that they called it peace, man. OK, and, they, and you see that they're trying to make this situation be a situation of peace. But both of those guys are offended. All right, you can tell by the body language. You can tell how the light-skinned guy was talking, talking about this my accomplishment. Because as a man, you want your own woman. You want your own children, okay? You, you, you're you not at peace, okay, with, with, with another man having this free access to your woman. Okay, you can try to fake the funk and act like, you know, y'all got, he said, ain't no confusion. It's, it's confusion as hell, man. The children are confused as hell. Okay, there's, there's complete and utter confusion, man. As a man, you want your own woman, okay? You, you, you want your own children, all right? Or your own women, however you got it, you want your own, okay? And you don't want another man having that access to your wife, man. That's crazy, all right? Like that guy, um, uh, Adam from uh, No Jumper, okay? Which pretty much he just got his wife out there getting plowed, you know, by porn stars, man. Okay, complete madness, man. And that's the disorder in marriage that Esau wants. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna... And it says, um, they live in a state of evil warfare, but they were so ignorant that they called it peace. They murdered children in their in initiation rituals, celebrated secret mysteries, and held wow ceremonial orgies with unnatural practices yeah and why you have you know like even with the abortions because it, 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 it people are just having you know these it, you know people are just living this beast you know and if you happen to go it ain't about the whole glory and the order and the honor that came with, with sex esau has completely perverted that man okay and then well you go into the scriptures man all right, you go into the ancient order. All right, the whole purpose of that was to be fruitful and multiply. Okay, now every time that you dealt with your woman, you know the the, uh, the uh, she went, you know, become pregnant because even you go into the story of, of, of Jacob, you know Rachel, you know it was a time when she wasn't bringing forth anything, man. Okay, and she was <laughs> kind of, you know, frustrated. Okay, and she was fussing, you know, <laughs> with Jacob about, you know, bearing seed, you know, but shows you that the, 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 the ancient mindset of, of, of men and women was completely different than, than now. And see, that's the, like I say, that's the way of the heathen, you know, to just do these things, because you know they was having orgies back then, and, you know, so, someone else can get your wife pregnant, man, from you doing a, a goddamn ritual, okay? 
to 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 um you know reverence these different deities okay and it, it just complete disorder <laughs> you see so the society because you look at society it's pretty much like a a big orgy everybody is just swinging and you know adultery is rampant you know uh 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 uh, uh, uh uh, uh, you got uh, uh, women, all right. You got CEO, you know, correctional officer women that are getting pregnant by the prisoners. Okay, Jake got you know twenty years getting the woman pregnant. Now she's in the free world pregnant with a Jake that they got twenty, thirty years, man. <laughs> you know, it's just madness, man. Okay, and it, and it's all fueled by idolatry and the 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 the, 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 the flesh. Okay, no order. All right, it says a man. It says verse twenty four says they no longer kept their lives or their marriages pure. Okay, there's no such thing as you know a a woman. You know it's extremely rare. Okay, especially when we're talking about Western culture. You know you have that in the East, but over here in the West, a woman, you know, uh, only dealing with one man, being married to that man, and that's it. Her whole life. That, that that's a pure marriage that doesn't exist in the west man okay it's normalized to the you, you know <laughs> you know by the time you get to the woman okay the dysfunction is already you know hey it's already in place that's the norm over here man okay and this is why we need a great reset man <laughs> okay all right, it says, they no longer kept their lives or their marriages pure. A man might kill another by an act of treachery or cause him grief by committing adultery with his wife. Everything was a complete riot of bloody murder, robbery, deceit, corruption, falsehood, uh, uh, faithfulness, disorder, falsehood, harassment of innocent people. All right, yeah, if, you, if you're a woman that's in order, what they call you, pick me, pick Misha or whatever. Here it is, you want to be in order, okay? And you're being harassed for being, you know, for wanting to be in order as a woman, okay? <laughs> it's madness, man, okay? It says harassment of innocent people, ingratitude, moral decay, sexual perversion, broken marriages, adultery, and immor immorality, man. And this is what we're seeing today, man, okay? This is the norm of today. All right, and it all stems from what? Matter of fact, it's greed again. What does it stem from? Wisdom Solomon 14 and 12. Sexual immorality began when idols were invented. They have corrupted human life ever since they was first made. Okay? Going back to the, 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 the uh, invention of idols, man. Okay? And this is a, a society that's saturated with idol worship, man. All right, it just is more modern. It's more, it, 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 it's a, it's through technology now. Okay, so let's go here. All right, um, let's go to First Peter, no, Second Peter, chapter two. Okay, and, and hey, our forefathers they had to, they had to see these things, man. They had to dwell in these societies, man. You know, Second Peter two and four, it says for the most high. Uh, I started at 5. It says, Second Peter 2 and 5, it says, And spare not the old world, but save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. Okay? The age of the ungodly. All right? And this, this society has reached that level. Okay? Of, of, of the pre-flood era. This society had reached that level. And the flood was a reset. And the Lord is going to do one final reset in the earth, man. Okay? And this time it's going to be through fire. Okay? And it says, And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. Okay? And America is fulfilling, all right, that example, okay, of Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, uh, of the lewdness, all right, that's in society, man. Okay, because of course, yeah, the alphabet community, you know, um, 
and bestiality, all those things was going on in, in Sodom and Gomorrah and those other cities. Okay. But then you can imagine the disorder in marriage. Okay. And it's to the point where those men, you know, when they, those angels came to visit Lot, you know, the, 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 the inhabitants of Sodom, those men, you know, pretty much, you know, they, they wanted those men. Okay. They, they wanted that they, <laughs> You know, they didn't even regard like a virgin. Just like now, virgin is not valued like that in America, man. A woman that's a virgin that, oh, you know, people want the most freakiest and vilest, you know. They, they, that's what they're into. It's the same spirit. Okay? So America is is, is, is fulfilling that lot of ancient Sodom and Gomorrah. And that's why they, hey, the Lord's going to fulfill their judgment as well. And deliver just like vex with the filthy conversation of the wicked. And you read this in the NLT, 2 Peter 2 and 7. But the Most High also rescued Lot out of Sodom because he was a righteous man. All right. And Lord will, we represent, you know, we're, we're um, you know, Lord willing. All right. We're in the, we're in the, um, the stead of Lot. You know, it says. Sodom because he was a righteous man who was sick of the shameful immorality of the wicked people around him, man. Okay, and we're you know we we feel the same way, <laughs> you know. Just as as Lot was vexed, we're vexed, man. This is like I said, man. What this man? You look at our nation, man, and you know you look at the world in general, but especially amongst Israel, you know you should be highly offended what this devil has done, man. How this devil has completely, you know, destroyed righteous order in the earth, man. Okay, and established wickedness as a standard, man. We, hey, you should, hey, we should be offended at that, man. Okay, verse uh, eight it says, "For the righteous, for their righteous man dwelling among them, and seeing and hearing, vex his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds." Okay, so. Right, a uh, uh, lot was was vexed, man. So that's why hey, he, he he didn't look back, man. He hey, that place was being judged. He didn't care to look back, man. You know he was he was wealthy, okay. But hey, damn it, you know that place needed to be judged. Just like now, nah, we don't care about our status, our wealth, or our look. You know our bank account might look a little cute, <laughs> you know, or whatever. You know you got your nice little setup. You know, you might be still living middle class or whatever, man. But, but nah, man, the hell with that, man. When it's time for this place to be judged, man, the hell with these possessions, man. Okay, and that's why in the, the very next chapter, okay, Second Peter three and um and eleven, it says, seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, because we know the judgment pronounced on this place, man. Okay, it says, what manner of person ought you to be? In all holy conversation and godliness, man. So what mindset should we be in understanding that, hey, the Lord finna judge this place, man. The Lord finna turn America into a desert. So what should we be, <laughs> what, what should we, what attachment should we have here, man? You know, we, 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 we handle our business. You know, we handle our obligations, you know, as this society is still up and functioning, man. Okay, we, we, we do what we gotta do, you know, we. Um, responsible adults you know when it comes to our obligations man but uh, we don't have no attachments here man <laughs> okay it says looking for and hastening until the coming of the day of the most high and it's going to be through Yahweh Shai as we read hey they conquering okay hey they, they, they're conquering king of righteousness man okay Malak Tazadak king of righteousness man all right it says wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved. That's the nukes. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. All right. And it's a miracle being turned to a desert. Man, this whole infrastructure, the skyscrapers, the stadiums, the car, the highways. Okay. Everything being turned into dust, man. Okay. Or completely, you know, exonerated, you know, obliterated by the, the, the nukes, man. It says, nevertheless, we according to his promise look for new heavens all right new rulership and a new earth okay wherein dwell of righteousness man and that's where our mind is at man it's time for righteousness 
to be enforced in the earth, man. It's that time. Okay, because it only gets worse under Esau Edom. As long as this man is in power, it will only get worse, man. Okay? It will only get more vile. It will only, you know, become more violent. You know, and, and, and it has to be a cutoff, man. All right? And we, we can see, all right, by the, the condition of the earth that the Lord's going to cut this place off, man. Okay? So that was the point. And I pray that you brothers, all right, and you sisters edified to next time I say shalom. Quran Yashallah, Abba Abba, DTA soon, shalom.